So this pretty lady, hi Can sweetheart. You tell me how no. old is she? Um, okay, age. <laughs> I think she's about three. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe three and a half. Okay, so this is a teddy. Now we know that teddies are prone to get teddy ears. Mm -hmm. And that looks like this. And this is like a really bad case of teddy ear, which you can actually take chunks out of it. Some of it looks just like the normal kind of um, excess skin cells or skin, you know, um, that skin cell that we just are able to take out with the Q-tips, but there is more going on. So if you really look closer, it looks almost like fungus. It really does. It behaves like a fungus. So I'm gonna start treating these like a fungus. So we're gonna, the owner is here because they just rescued this, this guinea pig and they're here for, for a health check. So we're gonna just treat that. I'm gonna ask them to just start treating her with a fungal medication in the ear once it's nice and clean to see if that makes a difference because we don't know this is just a theory I have because look at it this is just not normal right it's not normal so I can just pull this off of my finger which I'm going to in a minute let's have a look at the other ear the other ear is not as bad but it's still pretty icky see that I can just literally pull out the chunks there with my fingers and this is all like dry and white just like a fungus would be I so you're so good girl yes she also has a sebaceous cyst that has burst right here um, you can actually squeeze it a little bit so to show you that this is indeed a sebaceous cyst now it's burst so there's nothing much to do here but to get surgery done however we here at the rescue do not do full surgery for these anymore we don't we have dr. Nan who just applies local block and then opens it up scoops all the stuff out and then glues it back together and only on a local anesthetic so there is no downtime it doesn't cost so much you don't have to go on them we don't have all that scary stuff of have your guinea pig having major surgery uh, plus much cheaper and you can just ask your doctor to do that because there's no reason why this has to be done under a full uh, anesthesia of course her nails are going to get trimmed and she has also very flaky skin which is another trait for teddies which again I, I do believe there is maybe some fungal element to this so you know, I always say you you guys are learning with me because whatever I kind of come up with or think and I start just mulling it around in my head and sharing it with people and then thinking, hi, huh, you know what, let's let's try it. Let's give it a try. Um, let's see here. That looks good. Here feels good. Nothing going on here, which is good Do you news. think she was pregnant before? Oh, I, that's hard to tell. That's hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> she has another one here. Like right, right here, and it's burst as well already. See that? And this is a smaller one. And you know, like this, it's not going to get normal again. Meaning, you can you can try and get all this stuff out, squeezing it out, but this. The lining of this opening, that skin is dead. So it's not going to close again. It's not healthy tissue. Mm. So the vet is going to have to just cut around and make sure that there is healthy tissue on the edges for it to heal. And that's why these don't heal. Mm -hmm. Even if you clean it out real good. And then of course there is the sac you need to get out. So, but we really were doing the video on her, on her ear. So, Let's start. Let's start with um, let's start with this one. I'm gonna use some olive oil to just kind of hydrate everything here. 
just normal olive oil that you use in the kitchen. Feels good. Can I get all that stuff out? Yeah. All right. And we can also. I'm just gonna start here. Come on. Let's take off what I can. There we go. Yeah. I want to show. I'm taking off here. Wow, that's <laughs> a lot. That's a lot. And I'm not using gloves oh, here because I won't be able to feel as well. I know, honey. I'm gonna feel so much better once it's done. Good girl. This looks better already, doesn't it? Okay, now we're gonna use this. I know. That feels so weird, huh? So hot. <sighs> it's all kind of like pieces of skin that is just stuck to the skin that I can just peel off almost. Oh, honey, I know it feels so weird. Oh, I'm sorry. But boy, you're gonna feel better. Yeah. I think you peed on me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Let me just sit still a little bit. I'm sorry. Let me hold you still a little bit. This shouldn't really be painful. It's just annoying. All right. You make pee pee. I'm all wet. <laughs> all right, there's a nice big chunk. One ear. Now there's lots of down here, which I hopefully can just get with my nail. I know, but I've got to get it out. Some actually will let me do this easily because it feels good. Oh, did you give me a little kiss? She's so oh sweet. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. So, this one was going to be put out on the street. Right before Christmas, too. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. And then this lady, these two lovely ladies interfered. This is the guinea pig of a, a friend of a friend of the right. kid's friends. Now, look at this beautiful ear that's looking like a normal ear now. Yeah. I think they pretty much got it all. Okay, let me see. There's always an area that stuff hides because they have so many quarters and twists and turns in the ear. I don't want to get it big anymore. I have my own. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, so, said, oh, my grandma, I gotta make an appointment Aww. to get her looked at. Yeah, but now it's all clean. It feels better, huh? Much and better. here, I got a little bit more down here, which I'm gonna see if I can just and scoop she it has out. Her own. Ooh. I'm getting a big score of them. I really didn't need it <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Any more guinea pigs, right? Okay, one more scoop. So, okay, yeah. leave them here. There. Okay, what a good girl. Oh, let's keep all that. All right, more pee pee. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, she's more wet. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, she's drinking good. It's all good. All right. Now, let's go do this one.
Yeah, wax. Okay, no wax. Good girl. I know this feels so weird. They shouldn't get my pets if they cannot take care of them. Alright, let's see down here. Well, nope, looks good. Looks good. See, it's just so much easier. It is so gross. And people go, ew, you're so gross. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, but you know, this is why I wear polish and you can actually <laughs> not see my dirty. Dirty nails, but I do scrub my nails. I do, don't worry. Okay, now look what we see here on the outside of the ear. See that? The dryness? That looks completely fungal. Like it's some kind of a fungus. Funny, I just finished editing a video about fungus. This is just so prevalent in, in guinea pigs. So here we are again with just any kind of, you know, athlete's foot antifungal cream. Just generic stuff. You can get at the dollar store. And I'm gonna apply it on the outside and inside of the ears. And I'm gonna recommend the owner does this too, twice a day for about three weeks to get that under control. And again, I do not know if this is fungal. I we're gonna I'm gonna send it off to a lab actually. How's that? We're gonna keep this, we're gonna send it to the lab. And we're gonna find out what this is. That'll give us the answer. Oh, that feels good now, doesn't it, mommy? That feels much better now. She's like still not like <laughs> happy with it, but she will be feels better. There we go. And then the doctor is going to have to take care of well, nice shampoo with the antifungal, antifungal pet shampoo like Davis Myconazole. Um, that should help probably with the skin flakes and, and uh, there, a much more comfortable guinea pig. Now we're going to do the rest. We're doing our toesies and stuff.